Hey guys, welcome to SparkPoint. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite technique for getting the hand-drawn animated look inside of After Effects. Let's get into it. The first step to getting the hand animated look is actually within the composition settings. Traditional hand animation was typically done at 12 frames a second, and so we'll of course want our frame rate to also be 12 frames a second to kind of match that traditional style. So with that set up in the composition settings, I'll show you the example project I'll be using. I've just created this simple line art rose that draws on. It looks fine as is, but I wanna make this look like it was hand animated so that it adds some interest and gives it a unique style. The first thing I'll do is come over to my effects and presets and search for turbulent displace. This will help us simulate the variation from frame to frame that you would typically see from hand drawn animation. Once applied, I'll modify some of these settings. I'll set the amount to five and I'll add a wiggle expression to the offset. To do that, I'll option click the stopwatch here and type in wiggle, open parentheses, 150, comma, 500, close parentheses. This first number, 150, is the speed of my wiggle and the second number, 500, is the amplitude of my wiggle. Now these are the settings that I thought looked the best, but you may find that you want to change some of these for your specific purpose. Now if I play this back, you can see I've got a somewhat subtle shaking effect happening, making this look like it was hand drawn frame by frame. At this point it looks pretty good and this may be all you're looking for. And with that said, these next steps are optional. I'll come back to my effects and presets and search for roughen edges. Once applied, you can start playing with some of these settings. You'll have to do a lot of messing around here to get the look that you'd like, but for me, I just set the border to 0.5 and left everything else the same. This next step really only works if you're working with a stroke with no fill, like I am here. I'm just going to duplicate this layer that we've already been working on and reduce the stroke size to two down from four. I'll next drill down and find my offset parameter under my turbulent displaced and bring up this second number to 2000. This will make the wiggle in my lines a bit more extreme. Now if I play this back, you'll see that I've almost got what looks like a hand-drawn pencil animation. The duplicated layer essentially just adds some extra dimension to really sell the hand-drawn look and kind of give it that variation that you might see if you were kind of sketching with a pencil. All right, and that does it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. We're gonna be coming at you with a ton of great After Effects content and just content creation, content in general. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.